Make sure y'all be good, okay? And make sure you wear your seatbelts when mommy's driving, okay? From a normal police interaction to heroic responder to a mass shooting in seconds, a look at the body camera footage from the officer who took down the shooter at the Allen Premium Outlets. And it was not quite the hottest day so far, but it was still up there again today with actual temperatures near 110 degrees in parts of North Texas. And the city of Fort Worth is trying to avoid previous violent 4th of July incidents by implementing a safety plan for this year's celebrations. You're watching Fox 4 News. The excessive heat warning for North Texas continues until 8 p.m. tonight. Hello, I'm Steve Eager. We didn't get quite as hot as yesterday, but the heat and humidity are still causing dangerous conditions for anybody who has to be outside. Chief Meteorologist Dan Henry starts us down. Hey there, Steve. At this hour, we've got triple digits at Lantana 102. A little warmer down in Stephenville at 104. Now, the air is drier there, so it readily heats up. I'll step out of the way. The uh, view doesn't change much. A lot of blue sky, 98 Dallas, and it's presently 98 at Cedar Creek Reservoir. The excessive heat warning continues through 8 o'clock this evening, and then tomorrow it will be replaced or downgraded uh, to a heat advisory for the area. Here's a look at what it feels like, and yes, it's still dangerous out there, but it's not as oppressive as it's been in recent days. It feels like 108 right now at DFW, Denton, Fort Worth, 105, your current heat index reading out in Mineral Wells, and 107 up to our north in the uh, Sherman and Denison area. Now, all this week we've enjoyed dry weather. That's the same situation today with high pressure firmly in control, but changes will be taking place this weekend that will favor a little lower temperatures and at least small chances for showers and thunderstorms. More details on that with your seven day forecast coming up. Allen police body camera video shows the moments an officer shot and killed the gunman ending the mass shooting in Allen. The video shows the officer making the split this is split second decision to end the killings. The video is more evidence of the heroic actions this officer took alone and under fire. Fox 4's Alex Boyer reporting live tonight for us with more Alex. Hi, Steve, and I do want to warn our viewers that some may find the body camera video we're about to show disturbing. Now, in it, you do see the officer running towards the gunfire, and just some two minutes after responding to those gunshots, he is able to take down the gunman. I talked to a legal expert who said the officer did exactly what he was trained to do. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. Saturday, May 6th, an Allen police officer is wrapping up a routine call at the Allen Outlet Mall just after 3.30 p.m. when tragedy strikes. She is saying always the... Seatbelt? <laughs> I think we got shots fired at the outlet mall. The officer grabs the rifle out of his squad car and starts running across the massive parking lot towards the gunfire, yelling at stunned shoppers to get away. The officer, still not identified by Allen police, had the presence of mind to relay constant contact with dispatch. I'm on foot. I need everybody I got. As he gets closer to the action, the officer passes several victims lying by the H&M store. He tells some of the injured that help is on the way. At this point, the officer still doesn't have eyes on the shooter. Then, as the officer approaches J. Crew, he sees the gunman and opens fire. From the body camera video, you can tell the officer was a good distance away when he fired the fatal shot. This map shows you just how far. The shooter is down outside Fatburger when the officer reaches him at least five to six stores away from where the officer took position, aimed, and fired. His actions were unbelievable. Uh, the way that he was able to respond. Craig Miller is a retired Dallas ISD chief. Allen police released a five-minute portion of the body camera video on Wednesday after a Collin County grand jury returned a no-bill verdict on Tuesday, which indicates the officer's actions were justified per Texas law. Miller isn't surprised. He's doing exactly what he's trained. He's asking for backup. 
immediately he gets on dispatch, tells them what he's got, but at the same time, he's running to the running to the issue, running to this incident. Roughly three minutes and 12 seconds from the time we hear shots fired to the officer taking down the gunman. Miller points out the officer had the wherewithal to grab his rifle, allowing him to take the kill shot from such a far distance. Eight people died that fateful day while simply out doing some shopping on a sunny afternoon. Miller said had that officer not been there that day and sprung into action, he has no doubt it would have been a lot worse. His actions that stopped and saved so many other lives from being possibly injured or involved in this situation because that shooter wasn't anticipating a police officer being there that, that, that quickly. And in a statement, the Allen police chief said in part that the officer recognized the danger, ran towards the gunfire, and neutralized the threat. And for his actions, the Allen community is forever grateful. And it's also worth noting that the Allen Police Department did also request an independent review of this incident by the International Association of Chiefs of Police. Steve. Alex, that's amazing and heroic and everything else we've heard about it. It, it is true. All right, thank you very much. It is. The Fort Worth Police and Fire Departments say they're trying to get ahead of any dangerous disruptions during the July 4th holiday weekend. They want to avoid a repeat of past problems. This is 2021 when eight people were wounded by gunfire during the holiday weekend. Fox News' Dion Anglin is in Fort Worth with more on what police are preparing for. Dion? Well, the illegal fireworks enforcement here in Fort Worth is ramped up and ready. And the message from authorities is one that encourages safe and responsible celebrating. The Fort Worth Fire Department call volume is on the rise with the July 4th holiday more than a week away. We're expecting about 5,000 calls just of firework calls uh, from the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. Firefighters say they are already responding to illegal firework activity, and it's expected to intensify. I will tell you that as of this morning, there are 103 permitted firework stands in the unincorporated areas of Tarrant County. Hence, a crackdown. The city's police and fire departments have stepped up efforts, combining resources for maximum enforcement. We will have a arson investigator from the Fort Worth Fire Department and an officer from the Fort Worth Police Department who ride together, again, to deal specifically with fireworks-related issues. Uh, given, uh, depending on which day it is, we'll have up to 14 of those with two in each division, including two roving units on top of that, and a command vehicle will be in uh, the area as well. This ring doorbell captured video of dangerous and illegal fireworks in 2019. It's exactly what officials want to prevent and discourage. Another resource involves undercover officers to better pinpoint the perpetrators. Just because they may not see a police car, just because they may not see a fire truck, does not mean they're not being watched. People caught setting off or even in possession of fireworks in the city limits can face fines up to $2,000. And if someone is hurt as a result, that's just the beginning. If it comes back and there's injuries and stuff that are due because of those fireworks, we're, we're looking at investigating and prosecuting as, as far as we can go. Now, as for those vendors in the unincorporated areas of Tarrant County, all 103 of them, uh, they have been put on notice. It is, uh, they are, uh, to make sure their customers know that it is illegal to possess or shoot off fireworks in city limits. It's the very latest live. Steve, back to you. Okay, Dion, thank you very much. Atmos Energy has just repaired a gas leak crews have been dealing with for much of the afternoon. Workers are still trying to restore power in this area. The gas leaks and power outage affects people living on Joy, Twilight, Noel, and Springflower Drives in the Hillcrest Meadows neighborhood of Frisco, General Area, Ohio Drive, and Lebanon Road. The shelter in place for those people has been lifted. 
Airport services workers at DFW Airport rallied for better working conditions before the busy 4th of July travel weekend. Workers say they want fair wages and affordable health care from American Airlines. This is a nationwide movement happening in 11 cities across the United States. Those rallying hold jobs like wheelchair assistants, baggage handlers, and unaccompanied minor escorts. They say these jobs are the foundation to the process of the air travel system. We let travelers keep moving to be connected coast to coast and all over the world out of DFW. But despite the respect that we have for our mission, companies like American Airlines profit off our backs and do not respect us. Labor leaders say they want Congress to include the Good Job for Good Airports Act wage and benefits standards in the upcoming FAA reauthorizations to hold airlines accountable.